here with Emily from Oz Ark Wildlife Education and Emily's brought some amazing Australian wildlife to show us. Hi Emily. Hi. So Emily, this is an amazing bird. What kind of bird is this? Uh, so she is a galah. Okay. So she's also called a rosy breasted cockatoo. Hello. And so where do galahs like this bird usually live? All the way across Australia. Yeah. So they don't come in the really dry areas or right at the top. But besides that, they live across the entire country. And what's she eating there? So she really loves her sunflower seeds, but they are just the treats because they've got quite a lot of fat in them. Yep. Uh, but in the wild, she'd be eating wheat uh, and other grains that she finds. Uh, she would be eating little bits of fruit, like lily pilly if she found those on trees. Uh, chewing on gum nuts, having all sorts of fun. Gum. <laughs> Can you see the spots all over its body? What is this frog called, Emily? So this is a magnificent tree frog. And those spots actually tell us something very important. So bright colours in nature means I'm dangerous. See these two sacks on the back of her head? Yeah. They've got a poison in that tastes so disgusting that if a bird or a reptile tried to eat her, then they would spit her out and hopefully they never eat a frog again. Is this? So this is an oblong turtle and they're na native to WA. Oh. Has it got a really long neck? She does. And that's so that she can get food that she might not be able to fit her shell into places but she can still go like this and get food really quickly. Oh that's clever. Snake. Is this a python? She is a python. Do you know what that means? Um, no. <laughs> that means that she wraps around her food. Okay. To, sounds a bit horrible, but to strangle it so she can eat it instead of biting it. Okay. Okay, instead of biting it and putting venom in. It means she doesn't have any venom. Yeah. Yeah? So she sticks her tongue out to be able to scent things. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Because snakes can't see very well. Yeah. And she's a nocturnal snake. Okay, so she's awake at night yes. and asleep in the day. Yes, she is. And all these stripes on her body, are they for camouflage? They are, yeah. Okay. And I can see that she's got a black head. Mm -hmm. Does that have any kind of purpose? Yeah, so that's to do with her being nocturnal. So if she gets too cold during the day, she can stick her head out, just her head, and those very special black scales will warm up her entire body. All right. So she's a brush tail possum. Brush tail possum. But she looks very different to the ones we normally find in Western Australia. Yeah. Which are browns and blacks. Mm -hmm. Because obviously she is a golden. Golden. 
Obviously she likes banana. Does she eat mostly fruit? No, this is just a treat for when we're out. Okay. So she eats a little bit like blood tails. She'd eat some roots and some mushrooms. Sometimes she might eat some eggs or a baby bird. Uh, <laughs> and some little lizards, geckos, things like that. Okay. Anything that she thinks is yummy that's small enough that she can eat it. Yeah, yeah. 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 She's got big claws too, is that for climbing trees? Yes. Or in my case, she thinks it's for climbing me. <laughs> Emily, that was so interesting. Thank you for coming along and showing us all your beautiful wildlife. See you next time. Bye. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Learning with Katie for even more fun and educational content. See you in our next video.